all favorites video from the month of May. But since I don't have any new, like, favorites, I might as well, like, not do that video. So I'll probably do one next month. But what I did want to do is, um, a makeup collection video. And I don't have, like, a lot of makeup. Like, a lot of girls do. I have just a little. Maybe just to you this won't even be a little because I have more than usual. But I don't have as much. And, um, the reason why is because I barely use what I have to even buy more and not use it at all. So I already feel guilty about not using a lot of stuff I have. So I might as well just use this up and then maybe buy some more. So I will show you what I do have and how I um organize. And hopefully you guys enjoy it and keep on watching. So I got this at Amazon.com and it's it was hard for me to find it at first, but you search it as the multicolor the multicolor um drawer. You just put a multicolor drawer and a whole bunch will come up. At the top, I have, this is why the reason why I don't regret getting the, um, the big one, the long one, because at the top, you could, like, store stuff. And I use this, I used to, um, to store my, my nail polish holder, which I also got at Amazon.com, by the way. And this just has all my nail polishes I got from OPI to Sephora to China Glaze to, um, Sally Hansen, and just other random ones that I have from back then. And since I didn't fill up the, like the whole um nail polish thing yet, I put my um paint pots from Mac here. Hope I'm not moving the camera too much. And then I have the some Too Faced eyeshadow here, and just single eyeshadows from Mac. And then I have these emergency brushes that if I like let's say I'm washing my brushes and I don't have a brush to like apply my face stuff and this is these are the ones that come with the Maybelline ones so they're like the cheap kinds so I just have them just for emergencies and I have my black track um gel liner and use these random shadows you can see and um on this side right here I have my Kat Von D um Tattoo Chronicle palette. This one I, have. I don't like taking it out of the plastic. I don't know. I just I do that with all my stuff. Like this right here. It's the Fix Plus. Which I also don't like taking out of the box. My Kabuki brush is just here. Because I usually just take it from there quickly and apply it. I mean I use it. And this is just the Flower Bomb um, body lotion. And then right here. So I'm not moving this too much. Right here is, um, this is like a file holder, and I have my palette here, which is the Coastal Sense, um, palette, and I haven't folded it up for the same reason that I don't want to buy more palettes that I won't use, so I'm just leaving it empty for now until, you know, further notice, and then I have this, which is a pen holder, I got, I forgot what I got, this, this is like a school supply stuff, and I apply all my brushes, my everyday brushes here, which is my why they're dirty as you can tell and my you know my eye brushes my makeup my my face brushes etc and these are all the brushes I own you know I think these are the essentials for any girl so I mean I, sh I don't think you should be getting all the brushes out there because I mean you're not gonna use all of them you, all you need are these right here and of course I have the concealer one over here on the other side because it's the one I use usually and I don't like put it in, in here because in I use both sides of it, so, you know, I can't just shove it in there. So I leave this one on the side. And this is at the top. Okay, on the first drawer, I have, like, let's say, um, metal stuff. I call my metal drawer. It has, like, my essentials for, like, when I do my nails. Like, you know, like, cuticle stuff. I have my sharpening here to sharpen my pencils. Um... Not my pencils, my makeup pencils, of course, not school pencils. My um eyelash curler, which is not even mine, it's my sister's, and it's not even good. I use these for emergencies when I don't have my spoon with me. Um, my nail clipper, scissors, tweezers, razor, and um, nail filer. You can tell. Can you even see that? Yeah. Okay. And then right here, the at the back, I have. This new one that I bought from CVS. 
comes with the razors and the little brow razor. Haven't even opened it. And I have these nail, nail art pens, the one I did a review on. Three of those in there. Four of those, actually. Then I have, um, you know, what's it called? String, or what's it called? Yarn? I don't even know what it's called anymore. Yeah. Anyway, you know, use emergencies to sew stuff. So this is my my emergencies and my whatever, you know. Then this side right here. Right here. This is my lotion stuff, my nail. This is my, um, oh, I need a new one. <laughs> my makeup remover wipes. My hand lotions. These two right here. This is some Mary Kay stuff that I have. And my, um, all observing sheets. And this is the what I came with my Clarisonic. This is stuff that I need, like, you know what I mean? These two. Now to the makeup part, the fun part. It's this drawer right here. And this is all my foundation drawer. This is my foundation drawer, basically. Um, I have the matte powder from uh, Maybelline, which is to set your makeup. The Milani um, bronzer, which I use also as a, like a powder foundation, basically, because it's like my color. It's blended out. My Maybelline Mineral Powder, which is amazing. My NYC um, Pressed Face Powder, which is just also to set your makeup, like the Maybelline one, but also but only that this is translucent. I have my Asepsia one, which is a mineral foundation from Mexico, but this is meant for acne, like like let's say you don't want to catch acne, so this is more natural stuff. So. I mean, it's really, really light, really sheer, so it doesn't really do anything. It just protects my skin, I guess. The Mary Kay um, Mineral Foundation, which I'm almost out of. This is my everyday use foundation. Um, my Revlon Colorstay Active Light Makeup, which is um, water-resistant, supposedly. I don't really like using it. It's just too light for me, one. Two, I don't like the formulation of it. Then I have the Mary Kay Foundation which I haven't used in a while, which might even be expired. I don't even have to check. Um, and then I have in the back uh, another, the Photo Ready Revlon Translucent Finisher, which I haven't even used. This is how you know that. I, this is what I mean. Like, Imagine if I had more makeup. I barely use this. My Neutrogena um, Concealer, which is also a really good concealer. Right here, so I have CVS for $13.99, so it better be worth it, right? I had another concealer, which is the medium beige from Maybelline, I think. Or Neutrogena. Yeah, Maybelline. So it's this concealer. And then I have the perfect fix fix and perfect Rimmel um primer, which is good. So that's it. Concealers and foundations in there. Then over here, I have my lipsticks. Now I got this drawer at um, Target, which I kind of thought it would be more cheaper, but they weren't. They were actually $6.99 or $5.99, I'm not sure. But I, you know, I just bought it anyway because I needed it. And um, these are all my lipsticks and my MAC lipsticks. On this side, the Revlon lipsticks, which I've been falling in love with. And I have in here my Victoria's Secret lip tint, which is so nice for the beach. Back. And this is the Pink Friday one in the box. Then over here I have my um, Chanel lipstick. And this is a NYX one, I believe. No, Revlon. It's another Revlon, but the packaging is different. And this is Mary Kay. Okay. And then over here, this belongs here to Revlon. Maybelline. Maybelline. May. This is Revlon. Uh, um, the rest of my Maybellines are downstairs in my car. And then, this is some, like, lipstick that I saw at, it was, like, a flea market. They were selling makeup, you know, how they were, like, 50 cents or a dollar. And this was a pretty, pretty color. And it's actually really good. And I don't even know what brand is it. It says 902. I have no clue what brand is it, but it's really good. And I thought the packaging was really adorable. And not only that, it comes with um with a mirror. See? So it's like emergency status stuff. 
And then this was funny. I went to Cancun, right? And I fell in love with this. No, it's not a lipstick like this, you can see. It's supposed to be um, a pipe, right? Tell me why I bought it. The guy convinced me. And I forgot how much he charged me. It was basically like $10. So I'm like, yay, it's a pipe. And then tell me why. It doesn't have a hole. So you basically can't use it as a, as a pipe. It's like a toy pipe. What the hell do I want a toy pipe for, right? You must be wondering, why do you want a pipe for her? <laughs> so anyway, um, this is my lip, that's my lipstick drawer. And this just helps it. Okay, I had it without this before, and I had them all rolling. And every time I would open it, they would all roll out. Like, they would roll that way and this way, and they were all mixed up. So I hated that. So I needed this drawer. So this is really a good idea to keep your, your stuff organized. Then this one right here. Let's see the pillow. I have you on a pillow. This one right here is my eyeshadow palette. My, my shadow palette, my eyeshadow drawer. And this one basically is, um, this is some cheap palette that I got from my Sweet 15, like a long time ago. And I just don't want to throw it away. I feel like it's just throwing away a memory. And of course, I mean, I haven't used it in a long, long time. I feel like I should cover it. Maybe it doesn't even work. I don't know. But I feel bad throwing it away, so it's not going anywhere. And then... I bought this container also at Target, which I think it was like $5 or $4 also. And it comes with three drawers, just like this. And then right here I have my cheap, cheap palettes, which I bought like at some like dollar store, I think. Which I thought was really cute, but they don't work, so I might throw them away. Wet n Wild. This one is from um, Clean Colors. And yeah, Clean Colors. So these, I mean, no biggie. Here is my NYX one, which I have forever, so I love this one. And this is my um, Maybelline Eye Studio one, which is alright, I guess. Then I have the Milani one, so I got that right there. Basically my drawer, my, my drawer, my drugstore makeup, um, eyeshadows actually. This is from Rummel, and then I put it out right here. And then I have, um... Milani one, then the Victoria's Secret one, etc. And then I have right here an NYC, the two color ones, and then a highlighter from Mary Kay. So basically, this is what I keep my little palettes. Then here I have my naked palette, which I thank my sister for getting it for me. And I love this palette. It's it has like the most essentials colors ever. Like I think that's the only thing I would take out of a travel. Um, my Too Faced one, my Kat Von D one, and the Ellie color one, which is not that good. So just the eyeshadow on. Then I have this NYC. I guess like sparkles or yes, sparkle eyes. That's what it is. Got this. I haven't. I haven't even used it, so can't review that yet. And then, review book. Then I have this one right here, which is other eye stuff. These are my Macabella, Macabella Cosmetics shadows. These are actually all over the malls. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, they're like, they, yeah, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. They just have all type of shadows, and they're loose powder shadows, if you can see. So... But they're really, really nice. And I haven't even used it. I rarely, rarely use the, the glitters. So then I have my fake lashes here from MAC right here. This right here. I bought recently some from um, Arzell at CVS, which is $5.89. I thought this was really cute, so I took it. Because I was thinking about a look, a look that I saw. So I wanted to do that look with that. Then I got these, which I've used already. And I got these other lashes, which were so pretty. And then I got my lash glue. So that's that. I need a drawer in here too, but I didn't buy any more, so. And these are empty, of course, like I told you. I don't think I need more shadows. As you can see, I don't even use these. We come to this one, which is my favorite, actually. And this is my blush drawer. And I love this drawer. Okay, so on this side, I have my bronzer, which is the MAC one from, I forgot what collection was. was it? 
Well, you know what collection it was, right? If you don't, I, for I forgot which one. What collection was it? I don't even know. But it's this um, bronzer, which is solar rich. <clears throat> and I'm sorry if my, my voice sounds kind of scratchy. I just lost my voice over the weekend. And then I have this one from the Beach Collection, which is the cream br bronzer. It's really, really pretty, which from last year. And from last year, look how much I've used. I think one time. And that's probably from trying it out. So, I mean, exactly my point. I don't use it. Then I have these from the Nars, from the Nars some collection. And these are um, cheeks. This is a ch for the cheeks, of course. Tinted stuff. What's it called? This is the Lamuz. And then I have the blush one, which is this one. So pretty. I've barely used them. So, that's why I'm here right here. Then these, this is the, these two right here are the ones that I've been using constantly. This is why they're out of the drawer. The Beach Collection blush. And then I have this one from Revlon. And then here's my uh, Chanel blush. My NARS bronzer, another bronzer. And then I got this Too Faced um, Pink Leopard. It's just like a bronzer and a blush, but you can't really use it as a bronzer. It's too glittery. It's too sparkly, so. No, no. And then right here is my Physicians Blush and Bronzer. Which I love, by the way. But I haven't used this. So it's, it's all the way down there. And then I got the Lister Drops from MAC. Which I have also haven't really used. Yeah, tish, tish. Alright. Okay, and then here is my favorite, my Mineralized Skin Finish Powder, and this is in medium dark, and then I also have the dark one, which this one broke on me, so I have to, like, deep pot it or something. This is my Mineralized Skin Finish, but this is, um, blonde. This is basically a highlighter. It's so sparkly. Let's see. So, these are right here, and then I keep my highlighter from right here. here. These are my blushes. This one also broke and it's Fleur Power. It's really nice. And then I have um Laid Back, which is um more of a which is actually a cream cream blush. I bought this for the beach actually when I was on when I came from vacation. A highlighter for MAC. On this side, I have another blush, Desert Rose, Posy, and then uh, let's move a little more back. Um, okay. Then I have this one right here, which is Pinch Me, my favorite. Then this is from the I forgot what collection, Blush of Youth, which is the one with the rose, rose um designs. Which, I mean, it actually has no color. I don't know. Like, it's really, really sheer, so. But I, really, I liked it at first, and then I just realized there was nothing in it. Like, I really didn't seem like I would put anything on. And then this is the Summer Rose one. So, these in the back. And then it, this is, uh, oh, I did that already. Then I got this blush from um, NYX, which I thought was really pretty. Really pinkish. Is calling me. Okay, so that's that. My favorite drawer. So there you go. Now here is my eye drawer, meaning my mascaras and my eyeliners. Now this thing I also got a Target. I forgot how much it was, but it holds all my jumbo pencil, which I only have three, so. I don't think I have like a million. My Milani blue liner, which I use often. My MAC, um, what's it called? Shade stick, sorry. So, these are discontinued, I think so. Liner, liquid liner, liquid liner, liquid liner, NYC white pencil, which is horrible. This glitter from Hot Topic. It's for fun. I have this. Um, it came with my naked palette. This one right here. It's the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. 
I've never tried it, so I'm excited for that. So all these pencils there. And then I have my mascaras here. Milani, um, Maybelline, Makeup Forever, some Mexican ones. Um, Rimmel. And another smoky lash one. And then I have the Garnier um roll-on for the puffy eye stuff, which I didn't see any really um effects or anything. Anything at all. So and then right here's my eyebrow kit. Which comes with highlighters and um the brow color. This is the Anastasia one. Beverly Hills says. Okay, and then we have this one right here, which is another container like this. And this holds all my lip glosses. So there you see all the lip glosses. Um, my lip glosses right here, the tube ones, the NYC um gloss here, and then on this side, this is this is actually the makeup palette tray. And I used it as a drawer, so, I mean, creative, right? My lip liners. Right here are my lip scrubs. See right here? And my lip um, balms. Soft lips and all that. And this is a on-the-go perfume. Which, I don't know what to do in here, but let's stay there. Then I got the Makeup Forever Professional um, Lip Cream, which is horrible, by the way. And then this is the MAC SPF one, which I like it much better than the other one. I should put this in my purse for the summer. And this is a lip scrub. Um, the rest of them are all empty. So that's about it. That's about all I have. Um, like I said, on the top, you manage to put stuff. This usually, this is supposed to be a minute. This is usually here. This is my everyday makeup bag. And it has my makeup from every day. Because I use, when I get up, since I get up late, sometimes I just like run and like take my bag quickly to do everything. And he just has my essentials, my um, concealer, my primer, and so my eyebrow gel, mascara, my spoon, primer, and some eyeshadows in here. So this is usually on the top right there. That's how it looks usually. And... Okay. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, hopefully it gave you some ideas. And thanks for watching, so I'll see you next time. Bye.